All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Pointless Perspectives. Uh, this is episode four, except I guess the way we've been pitching it is that it's going to be kind of different from our previous episodes. <laughs> We're going to just do a normal conversation between each other, which I'm like sitting here like sweating a little bit because for some reason I was saying like not having anything prepared is making me more nervous to have a conversation for I don't know why it doesn't feel as natural I guess to record just a regular conversation between people but anyways normally we have like at least some notes like this time it's just like okay let's do this yeah yeah um Mm, uh, the reason we wanted to do it this time, like like this for this week, is because, right, we've mentioned before, we're in college. This coming week for us uh, is more test heavy, I, I guess is the way yeah. to put it. You know, like I have projects due this week. Rhea has a test this week. So we decided that this would be a good way for us to not stress about recording because we won't have to like really prepare for it like by watching like a whole season of a show or like read a book so time wise it's very efficient and what we prefer and then uh yeah it is just like easier to begin with we thought we'd switch it up for you guys for the week and uh instead of talking about a book a movie or a tv show we're just going to talk about our lives and I mean, we're definitely going to talk about, like, things that we're currently watching that we haven't finished <laughs> or, like, we just don't feel like it's big enough to, like, make a whole a th- conversation about. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, it's just a really chill um, thing to get to let you guys get to know us a little bit better, maybe. <laughs> but, yeah. First thing I think we were saying is, like, speaking of college, I guess, like, what how school's been <laughs> we going. We attend from. Zoom University now, guys. Yeah, everybody does at this point, right? True. Uh <laughs> I don't know. It's just been really weird. I every time people ask me like how it is doing college from home, like I always say like you know, having to do classes in my room is has been the biggest struggle because even at college I couldn't do work in my dorm. And I ha- mm. felt like I had to leave my room to be more productive and now I feel like I'm forced in a situation where I need to do work in my room as like and be productive at the same time yeah similar thing is like um so like even when we were in college like me and Savita would always go to the library on our campus to get somewhere else yeah like every weekend we'd be at the library doing work because we could not find it in ourselves to be productive in our rooms because literally whenever I get to my room or at least like whenever I got to my dorm in college all I wanted to do with was sleep like get in bed like and like pass the heck out you know yeah I mean that that's what I mean like the the being in a place where you sleep Mm -hmm. for me just doesn't it just makes me feel like to just like watch tv or like videos and not do work and that's been (laughs) The challenge for me now is that I'm, even though it's like a bigger space for me at home, it's still like where I sleep is right behind me. And like, it doesn't feel like I, it, switching between like ca- casual t- my time to like work and school time has been so hard. It's such an adjustment. Like literally, yeah, same thing. Like whenever people ask me like, oh yeah, how's like college at home on Zoom and like online stuff? I'm like, it's one of the biggest adjustments because one, you don't have study groups. And if you do, it's like virtual and there's not much that they can show you, especially when you're taking those like either math classes, chemistry, whatever. It's a lot yeah, harder. especially the bigger show. classes. Like when yeah. you have classes that are like, 100 or 200 people our school is a somewhat smaller small, smaller private school so like our class sizes when we mention our bigger class sizes might sound like not so big or might sound like really big classes we're like in the in-between yeah spot do you feel an idea of like like how the transition is was for me specifically it was like my high school graduating like class was mm. the same size as my incoming freshman year class at, at um our college 
She she almost said. <laughs> I almost said. I was like, oh, I mean, it's it, 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 it's really easy to say <laughs> for those those that are from our school yeah. listening. I mean, they know it's very easy to just like say sneak the name. in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, it is the our class size is like fifteen hundred students. Yeah. Yep. And the biggest like cl- biggest like Gen Ed I guess classes at our college are like 400 students can be like the biggest it goes four to five hundred yeah and that's it you have one section of that class and that's it yep you get Um, packed in a lecture hall and you're told to learn it doesn't work out well (laughs) (laughs) yeah uh (laughs) but (laughs) now i'm i had two of my classes because i'm or or like those bigger classes they're like 200 students each or whatever like 200 Mm -hmm. to 300 students and it's so weird to think that we're all on a Zoom call watching someone trying to give a presentation <laughs> through Zoom. And, like, especially when it goes into screen share mode, you only see five people oh, on the side yeah. anyway. So it, you don't feel the largeness of the class. Mm. But you notice it, like, I think when, like, what is it, my my data structures class, I'm the only one, I think that I know like I don't have friends in that class oh. so that that's where I feel it because I think I would have met someone if I was physically in class or if it was smaller yeah I felt comfortable enough Death. like like to like contrast like my class before like I have I'm in like a smaller like bio class that's like 15 people and oh, we have <laughs> yeah and we have a like a group me <laughs> Oh, that's so it, cute. It, to like ask each other questions about like assignments, and so that compared to like my bigger class, it's it's really weird. <laughs> yeah, um, for me, like this semester is the first semester that I actually have like smallish classes. Like before, I was taking all of my like general requirements for the pathway. Um, so right now, I'm like designated as a pre med like students so I'm on that Mm. like track and so all of our gen courses like bio chem ochem Mm. all that stuff are gigantic yeah so I hadn't really had like super small classes and now I have like my like capstone class is like seven people like seven I've never had that (laughs) oh when she when she says capstone at our school we have like a weird way of like categorizing english classes it's just an english requirement that they mm. it's a seminar based class where like we have it's based like, on your major and stuff yeah the capstone specific is specific to the major right yeah yeah and it's just like you write at the like you spend the entire semester working on like a long paper like 20 page paper or something like that oh <laughs> <laughs> for before that we have to take like smaller like more general yeah seminar classes and they're like one 10 page paper at the end of the semester like there's other papers but like the big one is yeah so that's yeah, a, yeah. <laughs> but it's on the bright side like by the end of the semester you've ar- already written it like twice because you have drafts oh is it just one 20 page paper it's just one 20 page paper dang i'm yeah. not taking a seminar class this semester because i don't have to right now and i'll take one next semester i have to but it's all good i figured take it earlier and like then i can just chill senior year hopefully i don't know (laughs) we'll see but yeah definitely zoom like classes via zoom like either way are so much rougher because like i'm in like physics right now so are you but like physics like from for someone that has like absolutely like I didn't take physics in high school I did but I took it online so I learned nothing so I feel like that's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard I've said it to you in person before but <laughs> yes. like so it's not like me being ex- I mean it, whatever I, I just <laughs> feel like the fact that they even offered like an online science course is the weirdest thing for me in high school because like I understand like taking like government or like consumer like small semester classes that you need to graduate because like that made sense makes sense but like and that's what I did like I took I took like I took 
government and consumer act over the summer but like taking like a full year science course yeah well the thing is like i that in high technically school, isn't even required to graduate like you didn't like for us we didn't have to take physics you just had to take we uh, had to. like three or four years of science we had to take physics we had to have um experience with physics chem and bio and so little old try hard me in high school was like I can only take AP classes and I knew I didn't want to take AP physics because that was like, it was very math based and I knew that math wasn't <laughs> my surprise strong surprise suit. every like STEM major requi- <laughs> is required to take physics in college well now look where I am yeah but <laughs> I took I took AP chem and AP bio instead and took they let me they were like okay fine you can take physics online so then that's what I did it was super dumb um like I I don't regret it but like I wish I paid more attention so I had like fundamentals Mm. because now I'm going into like this college level physics class and I know nothing and I'm like haha so how did you get that um lots of lots of questions also like math too like I feel like it's been a while since you took oh yeah one and stuff which is pretty much what you need to get through physics and like that can be yeah confusing i definitely should have taken it probably like earlier like freshman year but i was already taking chem and like i was going to take yeah you're taking other harder like larger classes yeah yeah i don't know i that's not that's definitely something that you don't consider i guess if you're like in a if you're in bio or chem major of any sort Mm. or even pre-med like you still have to take physics at least for yeah. our college. But, like, so now I'm, like, like you think back to it, right? Like, I took AP Bio, but I didn't take the test because I was, like, I don't want to take the test. <laughs> and so I just wanted to take the class, to be honest. But, like, if I wanted credit for something, I probably would have taken, like, AP Physics to get out of physics yeah. in college. But I didn't even know that that was something I'd have to take. That's probably just, like, lack of research, like, course research on my part. But realistically, I didn't even know what I was applying for until I had already signed up for my senior classes. Like, I was looking at figuring out my majors just to apply for my senior year. Mm, See, I knew, like, what major I wanted. um, But that was only because... um, like I took, so I'm a psych major. So it's not. I think that you big. mentioned it last week too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a psych major, so um, like I knew once I took AP Psych in college, I was like, ah, this is fun. Like I enjoy this. I'm like, psychology is the most common like BA degree that you can get. Um, so I'm not like special, but like uh, at the end of the day, like it it doesn't matter as much, you know. Because, like, I know so many people, this is, like, veering off very much so, but, like, I know so many people that don't even use, like, their undergrad degree, if that makes sense, like, in oh, what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're We're always told about, like, how, like, whatever you're <laughs> taking now doesn't mean that that's what you're going to be doing in life later, and I'm sure, like, any high schooler or, like, current college student has heard that at some point. Yeah. It's not reassuring, though, because, like, while you're doing the major, you don't feel less pressure to do well in it or like to look for something that's the perfect fit right yeah but regardless yeah you you just yeah you just yeah you gotta gotta do it like works out for you and for me psych was so much fun and for me also the coursework for like our specific college is like it felt to me a lot easier than making it so much more like bio heavy or chem heavy or physics heavy like that wasn't something i was interested in mm. yeah, yeah. But... i can't relate because my <laughs> thing is like very bio but, heavy but well yeah it's not actually i wouldn't say in bio heavy because like it's more, it's more right yeah it's more math oh that's Cause, yeah because like the technical bio class i'm taking is just is literally differential equations in terms of biology like with (laughs) biology systems so yeah (laughs) oh no yeah could not be me i would not survive i would be like i'm sorry 
I left this stuff back in high school. You didn't even do this stuff in high school. I'm. I'm I left math. Of, yeah. Okay. You left that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I left I'm, math and I moved on. Yeah, I'm. I'm minimally surviving. If that makes <laughs> I'm, I'm scratching through my classes right now, and that's only the beginning, which makes it an even even scarier thing to admit at this point. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, hopefully the i'm i'm kind of banking not banking on but i'm hoping that teachers take a little bit of pity on us considering one it's corona season and two this is not something we at all expected for our college experience and how we learn because like yeah yeah and i hope that i mean they must know that that's not how they expected to teach the classes and they're yeah. also adjusting to teach but i don't know i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see it's okay uh, in order to get away from school i have been this weekend has been like because i have an exam it's been a study weekend right but i make sure to take breaks and in those breaks i watch me this new cheesy netflix show that just came out oh is it the the the, the, the something in the phantoms yes. like the band yes, one it is. <laughs> excuse you <laughs> it's definitely like for people younger than me but yeah, it's it's Disney. Well, no, it's Netflix. not. It's like Kenny Ortega. He's the only Disney person. He directed High School Musical. And Wait, Descendants. no, no, but that's no, 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 that's oh wow. So it was so it's a Disney director that made this show. Yeah. So it's a when I say Disney, I meant it's, like it's it's essentially a Disney show, but on Netflix, and you just proved it by he saying may, <laughs> or may not have something correct. Anyway, yeah, it's, I I like it because of the music, for mm-hmm. one, and then there is another thing. There's a really cute actor in it that I'm like, ah, all right, what? All right. All right. You know, I told you fun. I would literally text her when I was watching it, and I was like, oh my god, not oh my god, but like, hey, this guy's kind of cute. <laughs> you should look him up. And you were like, yeah, okay, fine, sure. <laughs> no, I literally did not comment on <laughs> that guy at all. <laughs> literally, was, it was just like, like nothing. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's fine. You're too busy um, looking at up new whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you're just you're too busy with your new whoa, 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 new whoa, whoa, whoa. interests. No, no, wait. This was not. <laughs> I did not sign up it's for like, this part. <laughs> this is what happens. You voluntarily talked about the show that you watched. Well, I did yeah, not expose it for like, you. So why are you? So why are you? So why are you coming is, in on the other end? This is about our lives. This is a life update and about our interests. And what no, have no, you no. been interested in lately? I need, to, meet them? I need to voluntarily uh-huh. reveal those things. Oh, not sorry, sorry, sorry. Anything. I'm sorry. It's just I get the notification on Spotify that like, uh, she's listening to this. Okay, that was the biggest mistake. Apparently, we ac- we somehow became friends on Spotify, and she can see <laughs> what I listen. I can see what she listens to, but she could specifically also see what I'm listening to, which has been a lot of. <clears throat> different it's things so different like, phases in my in my life <laughs> has been happening through Phasing. quarantine yeah through quarantine i i did a i, I mean it's a full 180 i think on the well, spectrum of music that i went well, through and within a span of a week well yeah well it was from we mentioned this last week it was from machine gun kelly yeah to, uh, to <laughs> i'm not gonna say it i don't know uh, <laughs> Can you see? Like, I'm like low key embarrassed about. <laughs> I see, you're getting a little red, and I feel like you're sweating. All right. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I went from Machine Gun Kelly to to BTS within like a week. That's cool. It's cool. I support. Yeah, she's proud because she's been a supporter for like the last seven years, and then oh, I, I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm over here just finding out. Expose. I'm yeah. gonna be very careful on the topic of this band because their fan base scares me so <laughs> but i i, I can say that too. i i could say that i appreciate their music and i've been listening to it a lot yes it's good I will, well i, will I explain spotify <laughs> yeah i was I explaining that it's good music to listen to what when studying Ooh. because it's majority not english so like i mean or even not though it, like it's just not something i can understand so it's good to listen to something that you don't 
know the words to. Yeah, like um, it like it's definitely helpful. It's like how um, like it's similar to like not class like not their genre is specific to classical, but it's like it's something in the background that you don't have to pay. It turns 100%. into background music. Yeah, yeah, when you're um, doing work because you're not so focused on like mm. the lyrics of the song, which you can be in like for like a rap song, you definitely would be starting to focus in focus mm. in on the lyrics and then. Yeah. With the, them, I, I it's like not a lot of the lyrics are English, so I don't feel like bogged down by. I did that. I did that in like what late high school. I that's was when I got into my like Bollywood music phase, and so I listened to a lot of Bollywood. So like I don't know, I don't understand Hindi like one hundred percent because that's not my like that's not my family's like first language, and so when I li- so listening to those songs while studying was easy because I didn't really fully understand but I enjoy it was still good background music to listen to or like Spanish music at one point mm. like the thing is well for me like it started out like as good background music um but then I got really invested in them like both Spanish and like Korean music so like to the point where like I could understand at least like half of the words that they were saying and so then I was paying more attention to it also the beats for like BTS songs are so kind of infectious sometimes so I'm just like I'll just like vibe instead of actually doing my work mm-hmm. so, there's like it's it's obvious yeah. I mean no if you know anything about the band they dance while they sing so it's definitely so dance well. music so amazing right, they're so right. good <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's essentially it's essentially like dance music but yeah, and, and span a lot of Spanish music is very upbeat too, so it can oh, be man, yeah. a bit heavy. I mean, then you should try Hindi music. Like, there's a lot of like melodies. See, the thing is, like, with the Hindi music that I've listened to, it also has really good beats. Cause, like, okay, that, no, that's what I'm saying. You can't go for like the pop songs. You have to go for like the uh, like softer songs. See, but then I worry, will I fall asleep? Because, like, I don't know if I can... Because, like, I fall asleep to classical music. Like, when it's, like, sweet and soothing and calm. That's why, like, I've started... Because I realized that music, as much as I love it, I can't study You love it too it. much. <laughs> I love it too much. I have to pay... I have to pay attention to it. Because, like, I want to know more. Or I want to listen to, like, the intricacies that are there. So oh, I yeah. That's, that's much more of a deep dive than me. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's been like the situation for that. But you know, it it works out though cuz like whenever like I get like free time, I can like dance and like you know, it's like a very freeing experience. Or like when I go on a run, it's like that's my music time. Yeah. I have recently um finally like plugged in my Google like speaker Ooh. in my room. So like now I've been like playing music on it and then doing work so that I don't have like headphones in my ear or like yeah I'm a uh I don't know if you knew this but like I'm a pacer like I walk back and forth a lot yes I know you're a pacer <laughs> we live together <laughs> at one point yeah that's I, I well I didn't know if I I guess I paced in the um, <laughs> yes oh did I <laughs> yeah. oops but yeah no, so <laughs> you Wait, would pace what? around your room too you saw that? Like, how did you see me? <laughs> okay. Anyways, so in my room <laughs> yeah, here as that? well, I'll just put music and pace for mm. some time. I'm like really big on. I'm not a pacer per se, but like, if there's music on, like, I'll at least take like a couple of moments to like get up out of my chair, like either walk around, dance around, sing along, or like stretch. Four options. Very uh, so. Well, wow, this is like really getting into the details of me, but I essentially pace to daydream. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just daydreaming. I don't know if that makes sense. But okay. Like, it's no, just I like get you. To think about random things or like story points in my head, I guess. Ooh. It's really weird. I I, I can't the other side of Savita. Yeah, I I can't daydream sitting down. I. <laughs> So, so if if you see me pace, if I'm pacing, it's because I'm daydreaming. See, I don't, I don't think I daydream. I mean, I I think I used to as a kid. I, I have not been a daydream anymore. 
I've been doing that since I was like nine. Who's that? I know, I know for a fact I've been doing it since like my my house before this one. Like, because wow. we had like a big, like we had a dining room area huh. that was just, but we never put a dining table there. And so <laughs> that was where my piano used to be. And so uh. it was just like an open, like carpeted area. And like, I would just like walk circles <laughs> and just like daydream. I think and I've been doing it since then so to be honest like I don't I don't daydream I don't dream anymore when I sleep which is you don't do kind of, the, you don't do the thing where like you make up a scenario in your head as you're falling asleep to try to like well that's where I so before I fall asleep that's where I like quote unquote daydream because like yeah I'll, like, like you just think, make up I'll, stories in your head that's of like you <laughs> no no i don't do that i just think about stuff for like the days and stuff um i'm like well like watch youtube videos and then like when it's time to sleep then i just like do breathing <laughs> exercises oh, and i go whoa. to sleep well so <laughs> i saw this thing on tiktok where it was like to help you sleep yeah you, yeah like... i've seen those things but i've <laughs> and i've tried it like once or twice but then i give up yeah, I don't actually do it. It's just, like, help. Like, I just turn to, like, my sleeping position and I fall asleep. I don't know. I never, like, talk about the fact that I did that. But, like, then I saw on, like, TikTok and stuff that other people would do the same thing. Oh. Where basically, like, you, you know, I'm not going to go into the details of it. But, like, you just, like, think about, <laughs> like, a situation or, like, a, like, kind of like a... I, it's usually, like, some sort of, like, TV plot or movie plot that I wish I was in. I would imp- implement myself in it. I'm so intrigued as to and what then, TV or movie plot you would put yourself into. Anyway, And so, and so, yeah, and so, <laughs> you know, you do that, and then until you fall asleep. Kind of, like, to, like, hmm. begin your dream before it actually happens. See. Because I don't remember what I dream in the middle of the night. I think I'm cynical. <laughs> because i'm like well i don't know because like if i like imagine scenarios i would feel so like for me i'd be like man i really wish i was there instead of like in my life <laughs> like i wish like magic existed or i wish like this happened or this that and then i would just be I like know, that's why you, you don't imagine yourself as yourself you imagine a better version of you oh like it's not phys- like i don't even look like myself in my head like i look like a different i don't know if that makes sense i look like a prettier version of myself (laughs) oh i see yeah because like i'm just i'm just out here like little old me wandering through a forest or something like it's more like i have a character with my personality and okay this is going too much of a deep dive into like (laughs) what i do (laughs) i think it's so great um i'm learning so much about you that i did not know before like you're a pacer well i did know that you, but like, you just said that you, you well like you, you, well you never had come out and told me that you're a pacer i just figured it out because i saw you pacing so much <laughs> cool all right, all right. Um, um so basically any other shows that you've been watching <laughs> So we can leave talking about me. <laughs> um. Oh, I watched that new Netflix rom com. Okay. When I say I watch things, I actually don't watch things. Um. The Netflix like five or like ten second skip button is like my best friend. <laughs> the right I just, arrow. <laughs> I just keep clicking, and I get like the basic shit. So I watched, quote unquote, um, that new love guaranteed mm. rom com. And it was cute. It was cute. But it was predictable. Okay, the saddest thing from that is that, okay, Rhea sent me the link to that (laughs) trailer. And, like, I obviously recognized the lead guy as being from New Girl. But then I was, I I went in and I said, oh, my God, it's the girl, like, I talked about the main girl being from the like pinnacle rom-com uh she's all that oh, and yeah. she w- and Rhea just like di- was like I don't know who she is and I was yeah. <laughs> so sad because like I feel like if you're an avid rom-com viewer like you would know like the OG like one of I she- consider myself an avid rom-com viewer 
I just don't have a great. You have not of felt old. the present. You have not felt the beauty of young Freddie Prince Jr. and <laughs> she's all that. I mean, you are her, correct. If you don't know her, you are you are absolutely correct. I haven't seen the Notebook. I haven't seen she's all that. I haven't seen. Okay, I also haven't seen the Notebook. But that's because is it really a romantic comedy or a romantic I drama? It's like- no. I thought it. Oh, it's not a comedy. It's like a drama. It's like an intense romance film. Yeah, I feel I like don't I would go get for like the dramatic, attachment. like the yeah. I don't get go to those emotional romance that easily. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. Tell me about what you've been watching lately. <laughs> oh, I guess yeah, yeah. Cause this is I've so been interesting. Watching, I've been watching a lot of Korean dramas, even She's though they're really, not like, all embraced it, guys. Yeah, even though they're not like all i guess they actually are all a lot more dramatic than they need to be but they're not i don't know the first one we watched was like a cop based one it's called signal and that was like like a crime show with drama drama aspects in it Mm. but like that's definitely your vibe though and that was really fun because of like even it was sci-fi based too with like Mm. it had to deal with like walkie talkies that or walkie talkies radios <laughs> that <Walkie-talkies>? can communicate <laughs> through <I love> this. <laughs> two different time periods like one starts in like is from like 80 the 80s and the other one is in like 2015 right so it was kind of wow. like sci-fi based in there and like these two detectives like communicate to one another about cases through the radios Ooh, that actually then, seems pretty cool yeah and then we watched I say we because I've been watching this these with my family, with my parents. I say family like it's a huge group of people. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just the two. Yeah, me and my parents. Uh, and so we've been watching it a lot. And so the next one we watched was this show called Reply 1997. Yes. It was a good one. And that one was more comedy based. I mean, okay, it definitely made me cry at points though. So like. So drama. But you like having that both... I don't think you'll watch something if it's only the dramatic aspect. Like yeah, you watch it, was, like, it if super, there's, there's a category stuff. in K dramas like melodramas. Oh. And like if I don't think I'll touch those, yeah. I know I won't because I know that I will just be so sick of it after like thirty <laughs> seconds. But like Reply nineteen ninety seven wasn't that dramatic. It was more comedic, I think. Mm. And then, but Reply we watched Reply nineteen eighty eight after that. Because we liked the the first one so much, and that one was more. I know oh, that, that one really hit my. <laughs> she texted me. She's like, "I'm tearing up." No, dude, I I think I cried like straight through the last three episodes. Aww. I think my dad was sick of me in my crying. And I I didn't. It's not like I was wailing. Like I wasn't like. <gasps> it's just like <laughs> it the just... tears. It's like the yeah. The at little... one point, at one point, I was just like, I just. It wasn't audible, but like it was like heavy tears. Aww, <laughs> and, it's like the and, big, big like droplets. Yeah, and I was like, "Geez, this one got me." Yeah. yeah. But now we're watching. Can you see like how quickly? Listen, like, this is all within like two, three weeks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That we've been doing all this. Uh-huh. So now we're watching the King Eternal Monarch with the OG K K star Lee Min Ho. Oh, yes. She was introduced to Lee Min Ho and, like, found out how big he is in, like, mm. the Korean, like, culture world. And yes. she was like, oh, my God, I get it now or something like that. Cause, like, well, I didn't even know who he was. And then and then I saw well, – I watched half of Boys Over Flowers and mm-hmm. uh, and I was like, I, oh, like I could, I understand like the appeal of this show was because of this guy. Yeah. And then I looked him up and I saw how big he was because it's not just that show but he with the king I think it he has like four to five really big shows in the span of like three to four years and then I mean the king is like when he came back from military service and so Yeah. He's like yeah. He's He's super, like, he's huge. And, like... But, like, I saw, like, the international stardom that he has mm-hmm. for just being yeah. a Cause, like, I feel like entertainer. Definitely, like, uh, like, our friends, like, our mutual friends have, like, mentioned, like, him whenever, like, the topic of Korean culture and, like, 
dramas and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I've off. heard more. I've heard more of the title of like Boys Over Flowers. I've heard that mm. over and over again, which is why I started it. <laughs> and then you were like, I can't do this. I cannot. I don't know. There's something about like more current K dramas that have like mm. better st- plot lines that are more linear than. Mm circular like boys over flowers was like because i felt like boys over flowers was going forward and back a lot yeah with like the relationship but with shows other shows it's been very good about like following like the sequence of a relationship yeah yeah i don't because i watched a lot more personally watched more shows than my parents have yeah you watched watched goblin and i was really happy about that yeah that one's very much much more um like linear based right like they yeah it took some a bit more time but they got together i mean i guess i won't go into it because you say you haven't finished that one either yeah i have not (laughs) i like started a bunch of stuff like so like throughout like (sighs) no i well i got into it like middle school high school and stuff like that and like I started watching stuff, but then I just stopped having enough time because, like, the episodes are long, and it's, like, sometimes, like, with these ships, they're, like, so emotionally, like, like, I get attached to that. No, no, but but with Goblin, there's no, like, I feel like love triangle, so it was really good. It was nice to see that. It's just longer episodes, I just start, are they, I didn't know. It was more bromance between the two yeah. like main yeah. guys. But there's yeah. no romantic interest between like the yeah. other main guy and the girl. They're just friends. Yeah. Oh, I started one called uh, uh, Strong Woman Dobung Soon. Oh, oh yes. I, I watched a little bit of that. It was... So- oh, my God. If you need to like... if Yeah. Oh, I've just started it, but I'm, I'm like in love with like the lead actors. And like, <laughs> I keep looking at... Yeah, Hyung Sik, which is like the main, and Jis- Jisoo, Jisoo, are like the mm. main. Mm. They're they're just beautiful people. They're just beautiful. <laughs> they're just so pretty. So pretty. Oh my god, no. I watched like the well, trailer actually, it, and I was like, huh? <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like, oh my, I'm just like, this girl is so lucky. Like, she's just like the pinnacle. And so it, well, I don't, they haven't really set it up, but like, they're setting up like a love triangle right now she likes the one. character one character Jis- jisoo mm. jisoo i think is like he he plays a cop mm-hmm. and so I, i'm saying that they're pretty but he's like handsome like he's like his voice too is like deep and raspy and i'm like uh-huh. that, that he's crazy. anyways yes and then <laughs> hyung sik plays like a ceo like the air like uh yeah it's stereotype. like it's like the 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 dichotomy between like the working man like common man quote unquote mm. and the the rich like air yeah to the like fortune type thing yeah so you get these two contrasting characters and so right now she likes the cop but she doesn't like and she works under the, the air. air as like his uh bodyguard as yeah his bodyguard and then and but like the cop doesn't like they're showing the cop being really protective of her though right now so i think they're gonna eventually lead to him mm-hmm. liking her. I don't know, they're really, I, yeah it, it's kind of interesting they've really pushed heavily on the fact that the uh boss likes men wow they're really saying that they're really pushing this idea that he's gay not and not doesn't like but like i i'm like this doesn't seem right <laughs> like i feel like at the same time he's sh- he, he's liking her so i'm confused <laughs> i think he might have made this people lie to her about that so that she yeah. was comfortable to work with him i think also another thing i don't i haven't seen like a lot of the show but i think also it might be um you know um like if he hasn't been with a girl in a long time, people just yeah, he, start he assuming. Hasn't, yeah, yeah, that was what it was. He he doesn't he hasn't publicly been with girls. Yeah, and so that that but that's how they phrase it. Like they were hiring her to reduce rumors that about the fact that he likes men, but mm-hmm. he does like men or something like that. And I was and they make him and like he kind of like. I hate the term, but like that stereo, like what stereotypical actions of like a gay man or whatever, like they Aww. have him do that to like 
make her believe that he likes me. Well, I don't know. He's not, like, being super feminine or anything like that. He's yeah. just, like, like to pick on her, he'll be like, oh, yeah, the cop. He'll be like, oh, yeah, that's the kind of guy that I like. Oh, God. <laughs> So I, I don't know if that's stereotypical or if it's just like them trying to find a way to portray to us that he's trying to prove that he's likes yeah. guys. It's like, he, he it's act, very he, interesting. He doesn't, it's not all the time. Yeah. Oh, it's not like all the time. It's just yeah, like yeah. here and there for like, but it so far the show has been really funny and like. Yeah, like I think I've only seen like, I've seen like the trailer and maybe like a couple minutes of like the first episode. But, like, it seemed like a good show that I wish, like, I could continue. Because, like, one of the things that's rough is, like, right now we have, like, so many things going on and also not that many things going on. Yeah. And so it's, like, hard to balance all that stuff in a way. Um, yeah. Don't take it. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Me, like, watching the shows as I'm doing school has not been great because um, I know my, I knew, like, normally when i went to college like i stopped watching tv Mm -hmm. altogether and i just did youtube for breaks because they're shorter videos yeah and then i would do my work but now i'm doing like all three things and i'm feeling the effects of doing it but it's fine how else are we gonna get stuff to talk about on this podcast that's true and my other piece of logic was that nor i normally the reason that i wasn't watching tv is because any time that I had was socializing with friends. Yeah. And I don't have that. So the time is going <laughs> with TV watching anyways. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, the whole, this whole Zoom thing and being at home has been a huge transition. Netflix has been making hella money. They're pumping, pumping. I don't know if they're making money because I feel like they're pumping out so many things. Well, yeah, they, they do that to get it. like new subscribers though, right? So. It's like well, a win or lose. If, I don't know if you realize, but like Netflix isn't like heck of debt. Oh, I did not know this. Yeah, because they make so much stuff that costs a lot of money, and they don't make that much back. They don't make enough back because, like, once you they keep canceling the good shows. That's why. Like, <laughs> no, it's like once you spend like millions of dollars making a TV show, but also spending millions of dollars for me for like advertising or like paying your you have to pay your customers and like salaries and all that stuff that all that cost and like how much they're actually making from our subscription like payouts is not it's That's not breaking true. even they just signed like a whole like huge million dollar like movie deal with chris evans and ryan reynolds and all that stuff which was like the largest like where did they get this money i don't know they, they don't have it so that's why so they're not so yeah so they're making a lot of things, which we appreciate as viewers, but like, unfortunately, I don't think they're making as, as much, much money, money back. Yeah. I hope they don't go bankrupt. I really like them <laughs> so far. I don't think, I think they're still like top tier streaming service right now. Oh, definitely. Like, even. Only like, thing that I could see competing would be Disney Plus because Disney Plus has the rights to so many amazing yeah. franchises. And Disney Plus, Disney in general is a monopoly when it comes to that's those things. true but i don't know after the whole mulan debacle i don't know oh yeah i didn't even look into it but i pretty much figured out it was because they butchered the movie and like ruined like the mulan <clears throat> like story and image and they were costing people 30 dollars to watch it to watch it like you buy it once but like no, like people are like we don't want it forever we just wanted to see it once and stuff like that yeah give it like a proper like you i feel like if you did like nine dollars rent rental it. and yeah. just like watch it once which is essentially what a movie ticket is yeah people would do it but i think what the logic and the pricing is because when you go to a movie with your family, you're buying four tickets for four people yeah. and then you're going and watching the movie. So that means what? Like if the ticket is $9, you're spending $36 for a family. Yeah. And then on top of that, you get like the movies and the snacks and like all that stuff is like for the movie theater specifically, but, but still they're making If they money. pay it, if only one person pays for it at home for $9, then four yeah. people can watch the one movie or more and they lose out on all of that True. cost. Also, they didn't get, like, an actual premiere. So, like, there's that, too. Mm. 
Yeah. I don't know. This whole thing is janky, but hey, we're making the best of it. We're watching some TV shows here and there, and we're hopefully going to thrive in this semester. Yeah, hopefully I can reduce my TV <laughs> intake and increase my study output. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I don't know what type of terms those were. Those sounded like math. I tried to blend math into there. I might have just like butchered it. It's okay. It works. It works. But yeah, I think that might be all for this episode. Yes. Yes. We'll wrap it up. I want to say I was going to say early, but it's not. So (laughs) yeah, we were like, yeah, we'll do this one early. Um, No, we just ramble a lot. Ha ha. Um, You're welcome. We'll see you guys, not see you, but we'll talk to you guys next time for the next episode. Yep. All right. Bye. (laughs) Bye.